everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you just a quick one then i just wanted to give you um a peek at that other item that i purchased remember a couple of weeks ago i showed you the fox with the a rabbit uh, that sue um the felting lady creates and this is the other one that i bought okay you ready for this guys are you ready for this i've actually put a little lighting system in this um but look how cute this is. It's a little mouse in an alarm clock. Fast asleep, not to wake him. Okay. But yeah, so what I've done is I've put a little lighting system on. Look. Oh. She's absolutely brilliant in what she does. And again, I just wanted to put a shout out and I will put her link in the description box uh, below if you are interested. But what a natty idea. I absolutely love the alarm clock because so obviously we're in, a, in an era now where we don't use sort of the old-fashioned alarm clocks and I thought it was just wonderful how she's incorporated that so with all that said and done it's a quick one I didn't want to waffle on let's get into this week's readings I'm now going to read for the lovely star sign of Taurus so Taurus let's get shuffling the cards and see what's coming out for you in the crystal cards and that's just wanting to fall out for you and it's the card angelite support is all around you and that is coming out with what else have we got for taurus and we've got the snake energy that is so weird i've just read for Capricorn and they had the snake energy come out in the second position as well so support is all around you and we have the snake energy the snake energy in this instance like Capricorns it's about you've outgrown a situation you've outgrown a job maybe you've outgrown a relationship this is about change and shedding your skin and it's saying even though there's change going to be coming in for you Taurus the support there around you. There's emotional support as well because I work with colour and I just want to say that there's uh, emotional support. Now this could be on the flip side that you are offering support where change is sort of affecting somebody around you as well. So let's just have a look what is coming out in your conscious spiritual energy what else have we got for Taurus and we've got the wall and its obstacles so this is in your spiritual position your inner conscious and this is what some of you could be thinking at the minute I'm hitting a brick wall here I feel like there's obstacles being put in my way. I feel like I'm being challenged. But can you see in this card, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and this is what your inner higher self is trying to get a message through to say, hang in there, you're nearly at the end of something here. There's light at the end of a tunnel and there's this change that's coming in. Let's have a look what the universe wants to add on to that for you then. What have we got for Taurus? wow and the universe is saying good luck a good luck energy is going to be circling in around my taurians absolutely beautiful energy so i'll pull out another card to go with that for you what else have we got for taurus And we've got three of water. Trying to keep all the plates spinning at the minute. So there's a challenge around motorians, okay? Trying to keep too many things, juggling too much. And this is why the change has got to come in. And this is why you do feel like there's obstacles and you may have hit a brick wall because it's 
water is about emotions anyway so there's something affecting you emotionally but as we came in at the start of this message there is support around you and the universe is saying good luck's coming in this change this light at the end of the tunnel um, is is going to bring in a massive change for you let's have a look what the fairies want to add on then else have we got for Taurus and we've got human myth human myth I feel like the fairies are coming out to give you a message here of don't believe what somebody's going to be telling you to be gospel I feel there's some of my Taurians will be sort of given some information what I want to say you'll be going, going to be given some incorrect information so you need to sort of study or investigate what is being put forward to you read the small print Taurus on something okay let's have a look what your animal spirit card is for this week else have we got for Taurus and we've got the crocodile and it's the alchemical sign of water it's a situation around you Taurus where you're keeping your mouth closed you're being very observant but the crocodile is saying make sure you've got all your facts straight because I do feel this is coming on this human myth I feel there's going to be something around you what you need to read the small print on you need to observe It's also don't snap straight away at something. Did you know like crocodiles can be very snappy with their jaws? And it's like to say, right, I need to hold this back for the right time to strike. Keep a watchful eye. Gather your information before you snap, okay? What does your guides, angels and spirits want to bring out this week? else have we got for Taurus and we have if you're worried about being on your spiritual track don't be because the fact that you're thinking about it means that you're on the right path whether you are a spiritual person or not I just feel the message from spirit here is saying you are on the right path being guided as well okay being guided back onto the right path here let's get a heads up for next week then what else have we got for Taurus And we've got Lepidolite, recall your dreams. It could be a message to say, some of you might be experiencing dreams at the minute. I know me, myself, personally, I've been dreaming quite a lot of late. Try and remember, I know it's hard, but if you can write just snippets down um, of your dreams, it's spirit trying to get messages through to you, okay? So recall your dreams. I 
I just want to quickly work with I've been working with the phantom quartz so I want to carry on with working with the phantom quartz for communication I'm just going to try and pick up some names okay now this can be connected with people here on the earth plane or it can be connected with those who have passed but let's have a look what names I can pick out for Taurus significant names please for Taurus I've got the name Jack coming in. Thank you. I've got an Asian name of Rishi, okay, Rishi. I've got the name Francesca coming in. And the name of Rebecca. Okay, so I've got those names being given me to be passed on to some of you Taurians. Now, if it's to do with those on the earth plane, okay, it means that this could be very significant to that person, what is going on around them. If it's to do with spirit, then obviously it's just those people drawing into you um, while you're going through this uh, energy change at the moment. Thank you for that. So, my lovely Taurians, I'm just going to grab the Inner Light Book of Guidance and finish this reading off with just a little message from here for you. Where are we stopping for Taurus? Wisdom. True wisdom stands the test of time. When you do not compromise on the things you believe in, you honour and respect the divine being you are and show great wisdom. Through a series of unexpected but interrelated events, life is about to change for the better. In this moment, something previously rejected is now accepted. Your affirmation is, my inner wisdom stands the test of time. My inner wisdom supports and guides me. I accept love and believe in myself. That is a really fitting verse at the end because it absolutely fits in with the cards that came out for you. So we'll just recap. Lipidolite, recall your dreams. As I said, some of you, uh, if you can, jot things down, even if it's little words. Um, over time, it will be like a jigsaw puzzle. It might, it might just give you a message from spirit. For those of you who've been feeling, okay, you've been up against it, then spirit is saying they are guiding you now on the right track. Don't be snappy, as I said. Observe uh, until you've got all the facts together before you open your mouth on something but I do feel the fairies were warning you here that some information is not quite right three of water is just saying you're juggling too much and you need to balance okay get some balance and cut out um, some of this these burdens that I feel that some of you are have on your shoulders at this moment in time getting out of your debt some of you are uh, on certain issues but beautiful energy here that the universe wanted to bring saying there's a good look face coming in where your inner self felt you were hitting obstacles hitting brick walls there's light at the end of the tunnel guys okay and we had the snake coming in to say there is change you are some of you outgrowing a situation whether that's a relationship a job something around family and 
then we had the beautiful angel light of support is all around you and this can come in to say like you're not aware but there could be spiritual support around you as well so my lovely Taurians, I hope you can take something from that reading this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. And until next time, you take care of you. Bye then.